हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक प्रोजेक्ट्स आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज ऑफ एंड्रॉइड जेट पैक कम्पोनेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज लाइव डेटा विद डेटा माइनिंग सो दिस इज गोइंग टू वेज लेटर बिट शॉर्ट वीडियो बट यू विल गोइंग टू लर्न सम अमेजिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रिकमेंड यू इफ यू डोंट चेक द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग दैन प्लीज चेक आउट एंड देन प्रोसीड विद दिस वीडियो सो दिस इज द सेकंड लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो और सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू सी वट इज टू वे डेटा माइनिंग एंड देन वी विल मेक अ स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग रूम डेटा बेस एंड here we are going to combine all concept of view model data binding live data and all things in a sim single project using room database and we are going to follow mvm architecture on that project and after that project we are going to make a big project so this entire series is going to very amazing so if you don't like our video then please like the video and please subscribe the channel and please share the channel so don't further delay now let's start the video so first of all i open my anna studio and you can see this is the project which i created in previous video live data so live data tutorial one so you can see i am binding the result on my text view and this is the total data variable is live data so i am observing this so as you know what is the working of data mining data mining help to re remove the code of find view id and also we can directly call the main activity view model functions from our xml instead of this so i can comment down code and i can directly call this function binding dot result dot text from our directly from xml so i simply comment this and then i will show you how to use from our xml directly so for this what you have to do you have to take a data type variable here so by default it is present like this so when you type here open bracket and when you type here variable and then after this you have to give any variable name so you can give anything so i simply type here view, my view model and then you have to give the type of the data so i am going to bind this with our main activity view model so you have to type the entire name here with your package live data tutorial my main activity view model so hope you understand how this thing is going to work so you can see i successfully bind this class in our xml now i can directly call this function this is our main activity view model function total data i can directly call from my xml so for this i want to bind the data on my text view so for this instead of zero what i want to show here, show here i want to show here live data so for this what how i can call so this function is returning integer but but it is not possible to set the value of integer on a text view first of all we have to convert that value in into string so simply take a at the rate first of all this is the method for calling then you have to take a two curly braces now inside this first of all i have to convert this that value in integer so i, I can simply type here string dot value of and then uh, from where i am going to get value my view model this is the class name you can see this is the name of that variable and then i have to type here simply what i want to access total data so you have to type here total data so you can see now the error is gone and i am successfully able to access this and you can see it is not showing here not showing anything here because it does not because it will automatically going to fetch the live data from run time so hope you understand how this thing is going to work now if this is not sufficient we have to also write one or two line in our main activity but it will be very beneficial when we, we are working on big project and when we have lots of xml and then we want to bind the data with live data so we can do this directly so for this first of all we have to type here binding you can see this is the variable name binding and we have to pass the life cycle owner so life cycle owner and equal this now we have to also set our view model to our my view model so i have to type here binding my view model and equal what i want to use view model this one so you have to type here view model so now we are ready to use this so now let's check our app whether the app is working or not if it is working fine then we will end this video so i press on run button and grid will start building now the grid will be successful it will going to install application inside our phone and now application installed successfully so you can see by default our text view is showing zero because i store inside my total dot value zero so let us suppose if i enter any number you can see it is working fine and it will giving me correct result so hope you understand how this thing is going to work and this is the benefit of using live data using with the data mining you can see i skip all main activity kotlin code and i directly bind this data with the single line this thing is very amazing and you will going going to learn lots of thing when i will going to upload a entire project and by combining these all topics so if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please share the channel and please subscribe the channel because if you support me then i will try to upload a more content so if you have any question comment down below thank you see you soon in next amazing video